Hey everybody, <clears throat> we are back. Boy, today was hot, hot, hot. We are taking some camper trees down and it was probably one of the hottest days. At least it felt like it. <clears throat> I didn't really feel the repercussions until I got back to the shop, took a shower and it was just like, wow, I think I got a heat stroke. <laughs> I think everybody got a heat stroke today. It was just miserably hot. <clears throat> so, um, and I know these package openings aren't the, too exciting. The reason I do all these is because <clears throat> I'm not really good with live, uh, <clears throat> diaries or writing stuff down. So for me, it's kind of like a, a video <clears throat> diary. So I can always look back and see what I did <clears throat> that day because not much of a uh, uh, person writes writes everything down. But anyway... The other day we were, <clears throat> Tony was moving stuff around the shop and we ended up breaking our water line because we had a little box that was sitting. When I first bought the property, there was a little box out in the middle of the yard <clears throat> and it had some uh, electrical and a shutoff valve to the house. Well, um, we didn't take the time to dig it down and make it level because we were pouring concrete. So we just basically boxed it in and concreted around it well two or three years later we finally broke it and uh so we dug the hole and um put all the electrical and plumbing underneath uh, uh ground level and so now we have a shut off and we have a plate of steel with uh it's like i don't know it's not super thick but it's thick enough to walk on and we packed it full of rock and dirt so when you step on it, <clears throat> it's protecting um, the PVC in the shutoff. But um, Tony got the uh, hex heads and they stick up and, you know, probably going to cause a problem later on, I'm tripping over it or whatever. So I decided to, we, we were a couple short anyway. So I was like, well, instead of buying a, a whole box of hex heads, I decided to buy um, some of these flat heads and they're, they countersink and so if I countersink and drill some a countersink hole I think I can make this almost flush or closer to flush than the uh, what we're using now so I think this is a it's exactly the same thing it just has a different head on it and it comes with a drill bit which we already have all the holes drilled we we're just short a couple screws so I just went on Amazon and bought <clears throat> some of these and uh, I'll just have to get I think I have a bit a countersink bit and uh, we'll have to just uh, dr uh, countersink these holes a little bit so and then they even give us they even give us a bit to um, a driver bit so this is cool and these this whole box I think there's like 50 or something like that and when we went to Home Depot they only gave us 15 and we need like 16 or 17 or something so it was cheaper <laughs> to buy these and I think the one from Home Depot I don't even think they had a drill bit because we had to buy the drill bit separate and then we had a driver so this comes with the drill and the driver and it comes with like twice as many screws so anyway if you guys are starting a project, we didn't want to wait. That's why we went to Home Depot, but I didn't realize how cheap you can get these online. And then there's another place that I normally go if I have more time. It's called Stotts Nuts and Bolts. And they're downtown Jacksonville, and it's the same thing. You can get them like half price or a fifth of the price. Because at Home Depot, they give you just a few, and they charge you like 20 bucks. And a lot of times, they don't give you... They want to want you to buy the <clears throat> drill bit and they want you to buy the the hex head or the driver two bit so anyway so this will be our next project that shouldn't take too long maybe i can do that tomorrow and um, the job we did today we needed a crane but we did as much as we could and normally when i have a crane job um, a lot of times i'll come before a couple hours before and basically pre-cut and get everything out of the way get all the little brush and 
stuff out of the way so the crane can just come in and do do the work and so we're all prepped and ready for the crane and uh so it'll it'll should only take us maybe a few hours instead of all day so it'll be a good short day for the crane <clears throat> and uh they can come back the next day and do the stump grinding so anyway <clears throat> get a little horse um we're gonna go grab something to eat it was so hot today i wasn't even hungry all i want to do is drink and rest so just be careful out there hydrate um i was trying to find some of that gatorade uh, hydration whatever the with the pd light i couldn't find any all the gator was gatorade was gone when i went to the store so that shows you how hot it is everybody's buying all the gatorade all the hydration stuff is gone so make sure you get it and make sure you uh, fuel up and then you're you got plenty of ice plenty of water and a hat luckily i had my hat on kept my head cool but everything else was burning up so if you like this video please crush the like button sorry about the boring package opening stuff but it's just basically a diary of keeping track of what we do and so we can look back at it so anyway have a great day god bless and be safe